Hey guys. So today we are going to have a very exciting video. We are going to go over the 21 days of beauty sale at Ulta. And I'm just going to go day by day. Um, the sale should be starting today. Today that you guys are seeing this is March 13th. It's a Sunday, but you guys should be seeing this today, which is when the sale is starting. So starting today, this is the time to get your good deals. If you've been seeing any of these products that you've been thinking about or just not sure, wanting to try it, but don't want to pay full price, now's the time. These items are going to be 50% off for one day, one day only. And honestly, this is like my favorite sale of the year. It happens twice a year, normally in the spring and in the fall. And this is just the time to get the deals. It really is. So sit back, absorb, take notes, do what you got to do, but let's go over these deals. I have the book because, um, Ulta, like I saw on trend mood that, um, like that this was being that when this was starting, but the pictures weren't great. And this showed up in my mail today. So it worked out perfectly. Uh, so if you hear any rustling, you'll know why. And, but I'll try to be quiet about it. Oh, I should probably scoot over just a little. There we go. So day one, we are going to have the Anastasia Brow Wiz and the original Beauty Blender and also the Tula Protecting Glow Daily Sunscreen. So I don't need any of these things. Uh, I did buy a sponge on the last sale, but honestly, I was cleaning my sponges the other day. I have way too many already. I have some that I haven't even used and I should use them and I haven't yet. So I don't, I don't need these, but if you're needing just a beauty blender, this is the time to get it. It's the lowest price you get really get on them is the $10 price. So definitely a good option. So for the 14th, we have all of the full size Smashbox primers and also the peach and Lily, uh, matcha pudding in antioxidant cream. So Peach and Lily, I had one of their cleansers and I did like it, but it wasn't anything that I had to repurchase. And because of that, I really just haven't tried any other Peach and Lily products. Um, and as for the Smashbox primers, they all tend to be kind of a similar formula, which is a touch silicone-y. And honestly, I don't really prime that much. I just use a moisturizer, which is my own kind of primer. I don't really use anything pore filling or color correcting. I just don't. So that's not important to me, but if it is for you, if it is for you, this is the time, this is the day. Okay. So on the 15th, we're going to have the Cerovital, Cerovital high dietary supplement. Um, this is a pretty staple product in the 21 days of beauty. It's in there almost every single sale. I feel like it is every single sale that they have this product in there. Never used it. Don't really know much about it besides it's a dietary supplement. Don't know, but I know it's normally really, really expensive. And right now it is uh, $50. Also on the 15th, they have the Coast RX Advanced Snail 96 Mucin Power Essence. That's, that's a mouthful. And then also the advanced snail 92 all in one cream. I have never used anything from this brand. This first couple days is not going so well for me. Oh my gosh. I haven't like touched any of this stuff. Really? I have no reason for it. To be honest, I'm kind of no buying right now. I really don't have a lot of products I'm wanting or needing. So this is more or less for your guys' benefit and less of what I'm actually purchasing. But I will tell you if I'm going to purchase something just so far, uh, nothing on here is really striking my fancy. Uh, the Sarah Vital products like I said are so expensive and this COSRX, I think that's how it is. It's C O S R X, but it looks like all one word. 
but I don't know how that's pronounced. Kursk? Kosark? That doesn't sound right. Kosark seems like a semi-regular name. I'm not sure. But for me, none of those are products I'm going to want to get. On Wednesday, March 16th, we're going to have the Stryvectin Super C Retinol Brighten and Correct Vitamin C Serum. And that's normally $72. Right now, it's going to be $36. And then the also the Elemis Pro Collagen Marine, Marine Cream. And that's normally not like $90. And on Wednesday, it's going to be 45. So if you're, if you're a big Elemis fan, if you're a big Strivectin fan, that's the day to pick up your products. Um, a lot of times what's in the pre, like in the pre-release of what's going on, a lot of times they still have one or two online items that they add in every day. So definitely check online. Uh, that's my preferred way to shop the sale. I'm definitely not going to be going into an Ulta every single time I want one of these products. So definitely check the website every single day that you're kind of interested in products. Uh, on Thursday, March 17th, we have the Tarte uh, Maracuja Juicy Lip Balms and also the KVD Tattoo Liners. So the lip balms kind of struck my interest at touch, but I just don't really think I need them. I think I have so many lip balms. I just... I just don't think I need them. I don't, I don't, I don't. And the liquid liner, even though I've heard it's a really great liquid liner, I just do not need another liquid liner. I really don't use liquid liners. Um, today's like the first time in months that I've even done a liner. And this is like blue, you know? I don't really do a lot of winged liner. Uh, this color just struck me and I needed it to be done. Also, like, can we talk about it a little bit? How nice it is. Okay, on Friday, March 18th, we have the It Cosmetics Confidence in a Cream Anti-Aging Moisturizer, and also the Dermalogica Power Bright Dark Spot Serum. Dermalogica is a kind of expensive brand, but this is normally $95, and it's marked down to $47.50. And then the It Cosmetics Cream is normally 50 bucks, half price for 25. So both of these products are, uh, I've used Dermalogica, I've not used this product, but I have used It Cosmetics Moisturizer Cream. It's a nice cream. Um, and Dermalogica is a really nice brand. So I've used uh, several other products, just not this one. And they've both been really nice. So if you're interested in those, pick those up. On Saturday, March 19th, we have a fragrance, which is nice. They started kind of incorporating fragrances in the past year or so. I think they understand that fragrance is becoming like a big thing for people and it's getting really popular really quickly. And I, it's been popular. So I think they're finally deciding to include these products in the sale, which is good on them. Lancome Idole Perfume and also the Aura Perfume. So we have those two. Those are normally 60 to, it says 60 to $130. So depending on what size, it's just half off that. So anywhere from 30 to like 65, 70, you know, somewhere in there. And then we also have the Clinique. Um, we also have the Clinique Dramatically Different Moisturizing Lotion, Moisturizing Gel, and Hydrating Jelly. So... We have a couple different things there, but those are all going to be down to like $16, which is pretty nice. The next day is March 20th. It's a, um, okay. So Sunday, March 20th, I think this will be a big day for a lot of different people. We're going to have the Buxom full on plumping lip creams and also the Josie Marin whipped argan oil face butter. Um, both of these are pretty popular products, honestly. Um, they're not like super talked about, but I think they're really good staple products for a lot of people. And I just, I have heard them be favorites over the years. So that's definitely a day to pick that up. You're going to have the Buxom lip creams for uh, $10.50 and the Josie Marin lip face butter for $21.
Monday, March 21st, you're gonna have the Dermaflash mini upper lip and brow touch-up device. So it's like a fun little electronic device. I think this is um, maybe laser removal, I think. I'm gonna have to do research on that because I have not used it, but I think the Dermaflash products are for like at home laser removal. So that's an option if you wanted to try it. It's only $34.50. And they're also doing the Urban Decay Waterproof Brow Blade. So that is normally $26. It'll be down to $13 for the sale. March 22nd, uh, we're having a Maley's. Maley's. I think. Maley's Cosmetics B Flat Belly Firming Cream. And then also the First Day Beauty Hello Fab Coconut Water Cream. So First Day Beauty, the coconut water cream, I have heard of that, I haven't used it. Um, I tend to go for a thicker cream than a water cream, but it'll be $18. I have never heard of the Maylie's Cosmetics. I didn't know they had a belly firming cream. I mean, that doesn't surprise me, but like, I didn't know that this was like a popular product that sold well enough that they put it in the sale, you know? Okay, so Wednesday, March 23rd, we have the Jaclyn Cosmetics Pout Spoken Lip Liquid Lipsticks and also the Grande Cosmetics Grand Fanatic Fanning and Curling Mascara. So normally the liquid lips are, ten, are $20, will be down to $10. And normally the Grande Mascara is $25. It'll be down to $12.50. So I have I have a Grande Cosmetics Mascara. I have not used it. Uh, the Jaclyn Cosmetics products, I have her brush, blush bronzers. I have not tried her liquid lips. I just don't have an interest in liquid lips. If you do, by all means, pick these up. They're half price. Jaclyn really is, was able to get in on this sale from the start like the last sale she had um her blush bronzer duos in there and also her highlighters and i just thought that was really interesting how she's already been able to get her products in the sale so i don't know if, how much you have to pay to be in the sale because i assume you would have to pay to be featured in the sale and that's why so often it's a lot of the same products same brand but this year it seems like a lot of different products other than a couple here and there. But a lot of them have been different products this on this sale. So maybe they're kind of getting the hint of we want some new different stuff. Uh, on Thursday, March 24th, we have the Estee Lauder Radiant Skin Repair and Renew Set. This I have saw on the sale several times before. Estee Lauder is a really well-known skincare kind of, well, just a well-known brand. It owns everything, but they also have a lot of really good skincare, um, old school skincare, you know, the stuff that's been around whenever your grandma was doing skincare, that kind of skincare. We also have the Murad Oil and Pore Control Mattifying Broad Spectrum Sunscreen. Um, this is normally $45 for a sunscreen. And it's down to $22.50. Friday, March 25th, we have the Lancome uh, Oil Free Longwear Makeup Primer and also the Clarins Double Serum. The Clarins Double Serum is normally $90 and it's down to $45. And the Lancome Primer is normally $42 and it's down to $21. <laughs> so if you're interested in Clarins, um, I know it's fairly popular. And if you really like that particular Lancome primer, now's the time to get it. If you're feeling fancy, that's the day to pick up your fancy people products. Saturday, March 26th, we have the It Cosmetics CC Cream Illumination. The It Cosmetics brushes are also on sale. The, um, the foundation brush is what's listed specifically, and that would be listed at 12, about $12. And the It Cosmetics cream, uh, CC Cream is going to be $21. So the last week of the sale is really where I'm coming in at. This is where I'm actually going to buy products. Thus far, I was buying nothing. 
but I am going to check for online deals just daily, just kind of seeing whenever they drop the official list, uh, to, well, today, whenever you guys are watching this, but for me tomorrow is when they're going to be dropping the official list and that'll be on the app and on the website. I'll see if there's actually any other products that are involved, but as of right now, this last week is the only week I'll be buying anything. Okay, so Sunday, March 27th, we'll have the Stila Stay All Day Liquid Eyeliner, the Bare Minerals Loose and Pressed Mineral Veil, and the Philosophy Hope in a Jar Smooth Glow Multitasking Moisturizer. That's a lot, but so the Stay, the Stila Liquid Liner that's in almost every single sale, every, every time, uh, the Bare Minerals Powder, I have not tried. Um, I haven't really heard much about the Bare Minerals Powder, actually. And, uh, but it's, it's featured this, this time. So maybe, uh, it's something to try. It's normally $28 and it's down to $14 for the sale. The Philosophy Hope in a Jar, I have tried this, I believe. I believe. I've tried a couple Philosophy products. I feel like I tried the Hope in the Jar. Um, it's normally $40, $39 to be exact, but it's down to uh, $19.50. So if this is a favorite moisturizer of yours, now's the time to pick it up. Monday, March 28th, we have the Peter Thomas Roth uh, Water Drench Broad Spectrum Hyaluronic Cloud Moisturizer. And then also the Origins Clear Improvement Active Charcoal Mask and that is um, normally $28, so it be down to $14. And the Peter Thomas Roth products will are normally anywhere between $52 and $65, so they're down to $26 to $32. Um, neither one of the Origins is not like my favorite skincare. I don't really care about Origins much. And Peter Thomas Roth, uh, I don't need their serum super expensive and I don't need it. Officially, we have reached a day that I'm going to purchase something. I know you guys have been sitting here like, does this bitch buy anything? And I'm like, no, I don't. But I do actually, but not a lot anymore. I try not to. I try to buy things from like indie brands and stuff that like you can't just get anywhere, you know, interesting stuff. Once you saw everything, you're like, nothing's interesting anymore. So I like to buy the interesting stuff. But this day, on the uh, Tuesday, March 29th, they'll have the Urban Decay um, Hydromaniac Glowy Tinted Hydrator Foundation. I've heard a lot about this. I've heard a lot of good things about this. And I love a skin tint or a light coverage foundation or whatever you want to call it. And this is normally $29. And it's going to be marked down to $14.50 just for me. How exciting. I'm so excited. So I'm going to definitely be picking that up uh, as long as it's still available for me. I try to order first thing in the morning, but sometimes I totally forget and I miss. So hopefully that's still available for me. Um, that's a new foundation as of last year, I believe. And so this would be the first time it's been on the sale. They will also have the Glam Glow um, Bright Eyes Illuminating Anti-Fatigue Eye Cream. These names are just so long, guys. Like, why can't they just make things not long? You know, like, why are the names just so ungodly? Like, you have to rattle that stuff off. It's it's horrible. Uh, it's normally $39. It's marked down to $19.50 for the sale. And I have not tried it. Glam Glow is not my favorite brand for whatever. Um, it's, I don't know. I just don't really care about it. They always seem to have kind of like gimmicky skincare. So when it comes to like real skincare, I don't know if I want it from them. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Okay. Wednesday, March 30th, there is the Pure 4-in-1 Pressed Mineral Powder Foundation. And then also the Juice Beauty Stem, Stem Cellular Anti-Wrinkle Retinol Overnight Serum. And also the Juice Beauty Stem Cellular Anti-Wrinkle Booster Serum. So both of those are going to be, um, they're anywhere between $72 and $80 normally. So they'll be $36 to $40. Bucks. 
and the powder is normally uh, $29.50. So it'll be marked down to 14 bucks. Uh, I've heard good things about the pure powders, not used them. Juice Beauty, I really don't follow their skincare. I tell you, man, this sale's kind of not hitting it right for me this time, but for a lot of people, I'm sure it, it will. There's just some, some of these products I just never used ever, ever, ever. And I've used a lot of products at this point. So Thursday, March 31st, we are going to have the MAC Cosmetics Studio Radiance Face and Body Radiant Sheer Foundation. <laughs> How many times can you say radiant? But this one is normally 36 and it'll be on the sale for 18. And I will probably be picking this up. I will probably be picking this up. I, uh, I always want to try the face and body and the old formula. I wasn't, I never picked up. So this is the new one. I haven't heard too much about it, but I haven't heard super negative things, nor super positive things in particular. I kind of heard a couple people be like, oh, I don't know. I like the old formula better. Oh, I don't know. I like the new one better is kind of just been either way, but no one said like, this is horribly bad and I hated it. So that kind of makes me be like, Hmm, maybe, uh, maybe I want to pick that up. You know, Friday, April 1st, we're going to have the Exuvian's performance peel and that's normally $79. So it is marked down to 35. We're also going to have the benefit cosmetics. Give me brow. And it is going to be um, $12 for the sale. This one's uh, pretty popular on here. There's normally a benefit product of some kind during the sale. Benefit tends to really go all in during the sale. So, okay guys, last day of the sale, Saturday, April 2nd, last day of the sale. It's here. We're at the end. You're going to have the Tarte Maneater Mascara. You're going to have the Saint Tropez self tan purity bronzing water face mist and also the bobby brown vitamin enriched base base so they did the eye base last sale from bobby brown and i picked up two of them and i've been really liking it and this time i'm going to pick up the face base because why not why wouldn't i want to do that um I'm going to pick that up. I'm not going to do the Saint Tropez. Um, I don't feel like I need that. I have some self tanning stuff if I wish to use it. And I actually have the Tarte Manator mascara and, um, I haven't even used it yet. And, uh, that's, uh, that's the story of my life. Okay guys. So that is it. That's the whole sale, whole thing, all three weeks, every single day broken down. And, um, yeah, I'm pretty, I'm, I'm not disappointed by this this time, this time around this sale. Um, I just don't think a lot of these products are just something I'm into, but it's a good variety. I'll give them that. It's a very good variety of products. They have several, uh, the mix between skincare and makeup, and they normally don't do any hair care during the sale because they'll have a hair care, hair care sale directly after this. Normally that's on average what they'll do, but yeah, if you're wanting to go to Ulta, they have they have Fenty Beauty now. Uh, they have several other brands have recently come into Ulta. I feel like they're trying to come for Sephora. And it's very possible they could because they have a superior point system. And I mean like superior point system. I have I can save so much money with points and they have all these point multiplier sales. It's the way to go. When it, if you can buy something at Ulta, buy it at Ulta, because ultimately their point system's better. <laughs> and uh, yeah, so if you uh, if you've been meaning to go to Ulta, meaning to shop online, pick some things up, do it. It's the time. Do it. You just do it. Okay, guys. So that is it for me today. And uh, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Comment down below. What are you picking up from the sale? I would like to know. Um, I'm generally just curious about what other people are into. If there's anything that, you know, I was like, oh, I want to buy that. And you're like, hell no, don't do it. Or if there's anything on the sale that I'm like, mm, I don't care about. 
And you're like, dude, get that. You want that. I promise you, you do. I'd be like, okay, <laughs> don't, don't yell at me. I'll just buy it. Okay. Calm down. But yeah. So, and while you're at it, while you're like liking the video, commenting and while you're down there commenting, liking, hopefully, uh, you might as well subscribe. You're already down there. So you might as well subscribe, hit the bell. That way you'll be notified every single time I upload. I will catch you guys on the next one. See you later. Bye.